Good evening and welcome to Empowered Voices, a unity concert. It's presented by Empower Women's Initiative of Interfaith Ministries for Greater Houston. I'm Melanie Lawson and I'll be your MC for this evening's concert and I am so thrilled to be a part of this. Empower is a group of diverse women whose goal is to support the work of Interfaith Ministries while creating an atmosphere to empower self, the community, and the next generation. Tonight's concert is a display of our collective voices uniting through diversity, commitment, and as one. Our first performance by International Voices of Houston is a multicultural choir in Houston that inspires, educates, and just brings a lot of joy to its audiences through world music. They bring joy worldwide through their concerts and they brought joy to Interfaith Ministries as volunteers with our Anna Meals and Meals on Wheels programs. Enjoy this beautiful rendition of Stand United. Oh 
refugees coming to America means the world to them. It means they're safer and they have more opportunities. Through the Women's Empowerment Group, as part of the Refugee Services Department, women refugees find friendship, support, resources, and empowerment as they learn how to thrive in Houston, to advocate for themselves, and to become more independent. Since its inception four years ago, the Women's Empowerment Group has helped refugee women gain confidence and skills. Some have even become their own business owners, like Wafdia Ibrahim, who recently shared her culinary skills on an Empower-sponsored online cooking class. Meals on Wheels helps thousands of homebound seniors like Ms. Sylvia Gilbert know they are not forgotten by providing them with meals, a personal check-in, and so much more. The services provided by Interfaith Ministries helps empower homebound seniors to live independently and safely in their own homes. Through the pandemic and recent winter storm, Meals on Wheels continued to care for seniors in our community by providing them with emergency meals in advance, just in case meal delivery was interrupted due to bad weather or an emergency. I am so excited to introduce you to Robin Troop. She is a singer from Houston who was the winner of the My Grammy Moment Contest organized by Yahoo Music in 2007. Her beautiful and soulful voice has been uplifting to so many throughout our country for over a decade. She is the granddaughter of Reverend Bill Lawson, who happens to be my dad, and that makes her my niece. So tonight is an especially proud moment for us, given her participation in this Unity concert that benefits Interfaith Ministries, an organization we all love and appreciate. So enjoy Robin's version of Stand By Me. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me so darling, darling, stand by me, oh, stand by me, oh, stand, stand by me, stand by me. If the sky that we look upon should tumble and fall, or the mountain should crumble, to the sea I won't cry I won't cry No, I won't Shed a tear Just as long As you stand Stand by me And darling, darling Stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand now Stand by me Stand by me Darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand now Stand by me, stand by me Whenever you're in trouble, won't you stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand now Stand by me Stand by me. 
Volunteer Houston is a program of interfaith ministries that serves our community through volunteerism, especially during disasters. It connects thousands of volunteers with nonprofits in need, and they go on to help our community. During COVID-19 and the winter storm, Volunteer Houston worked closely with the city, the county, volunteers, and nonprofits to bring resources to those in need and to help nonprofits pivot from in-person volunteer projects to virtual and even remote volunteerism. Volunteers and nonprofit partners of Volunteer Houston are in the trenches every day, making a huge difference in the lives of so many. As the world faced a new and daunting pandemic, the Interfaith Relations and Community Partnerships team partnered with the Greater Houston Partnership, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner, and medical emergency management and public health officials. They provided weekly COVID-19 briefings for hundreds of faith and community leaders, empowering them with information that helped shape their policies and actions and save lives. One faith leader is Reverend Keith Somerville, who says he finds these gatherings to be truly the highlight of his week. He knows he will receive information that will help him in his prayer life and will help lead those people entrusted to his care. Beyond all else though, he says he just loves the fact that every week he is reminded he is not alone. We do not stand alone, we are stronger together. The next empowered voice is Ahi Ajahan, who recently graduated from high school. As a classically trained musician, her voice is already bringing smiles to so many. Her song, Rise Up, originally by Andrew Day, will inspire all of us to help our brothers and sisters, just as Interfaith Ministries has been doing for more than 50 years in our community. Enjoy Rise Up. You're broken down and tired of a live a life on a merry-go-round, and you can't find the fire, but I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out and move mountains. We gon' walk it out and move. Oh. 
Thank you for spending this evening with Empower. We hope you are enjoying the Empowered Voices Unity Concert. My name is Nahala Zakaria, and I co-chair Empower Interfaith Ministries Women's Initiative along with Swati Narayan. We have been involved with Empower and Interfaith Ministries for several years and have met some extraordinary women along the way. We've also been able to support Interfaith Ministries' work feeding nearly 5,000 homebound seniors over 60 and people with disabilities, resettling refugees, promoting interfaith understanding, and transforming our community through volunteerism and Volunteer Houston. This year, Empower has upheld the mission of Interfaith Ministries by helping to empower women, the community, and the next generation. As a group of diverse women, we connect to find ways to share ideas, create positive change, and to foster a more united and empathetic society. We hosted an author engagement with Megan Phelps Roper, the author of Unfollow. We had fun during an empowering culinary experience with Chef Keisha Griggs, Karen Harburg, and Wafdia Ibrahim. We are supporting the launch of Abraham Out of One Many, an art exhibition about living harmoniously in today's world. We're also helping Meals on Wheels seniors and their beloved pets experience the joy of community during the holidays. A gift to Empower helps Interfaith Ministries continue its vital work. Please make a donation this evening and help empower more people in our community, especially at this challenging time. Donations can be made online or by mail. Next up, I'm excited to introduce you to this dynamic duo, Dee Dee Dochen and Vicki Merwin. They are community leaders, businesswomen, and professional singers. Please welcome these friends of Empower and Interfaith Ministries. We're especially excited to hear their duet, Put a Little Love in Your Heart. Think of your fellow man, lend her a helping hand, put a little love in your heart. You see it's getting late, oh please don't hesitate, put a little love in your heart. And the world, the world will be a better place, and the world, and the world will be a better place for you, for you and me, and me. You just wait, just wait, and I see, and see. Another day goes by, and still the children cry. Put a little love in your heart. You want the world to know, you want that hatred grow. Put a little love in your heart, and the world, and the world will be a better place. And the world, and the world will be a better place for you, for you. Just wait, just wait, and I see. see. Wait and see. Oh, take a good look around, and if you're looking down, put a little love in your heart. I hope when you decide, kindness will be a guide. Put a little love in your heart. And the world, and the world will be a better place for you, for you and me, and me. You just wait, just wait, and I see people now oh, put a little love in your heart each and every day. Put a little love in your heart. There's no other way. Put a little love in your heart. Oh yeah, it's up to you. Put a Interface vital conversations with our community lecture series, the ILEAD MLK Youth Day of Service, Impulse, and other programs, youth and young adults are finding their voice. Interfaith Ministries helps to empower the next generation by hosting conversations on social justice and equality, transforming the community in the wake of social unrest, and dealing with the challenges of the quarantine. 
Interfaith Ministries also teaches and shares the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King and Houston's own social justice pioneers, Reverend Bill Lawson, Archbishop Joseph Fiorenza, and the late Rabbi Sam Karp. These giants are honored on the Plaza of Respect behind me this evening. Well, now we will hear a youth perspective from Summer Zakaria on the future of unity. This semester, I decided to take a course on dystopian novels. Books like Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and 1984 by George Orwell were ones that we studied. What I found to be a common theme between these novels was the idea of a totalitarian government. More importantly, the idea of loneliness in a society. But loneliness doesn't just exist in dystopian novels about totalitarian governments. It exists at school, at work, and sometimes even during times of a global pandemic that forces everyone to stay home. Even if that does sound like a dystopian novel. Over the course of this year, we have struggled, we have struggled through COVID-19, racism, wildfires, impeachments, political turmoil, and so much more. And with each of these events, we became a more and more divided society. But our future doesn't have to turn out like these dystopian novels filled with loneliness and Big Brother. Rather than working towards the community we were before March of 2020, we can work to be even better. A society of open-minded people willing to hear both sides of a story. A society of acceptance, even if it's something that you don't personally believe. A society of equality, where everyone has a chance, regardless of slight differences. And all these changes are gonna start with teens and young adults. We have to adopt this open-mindedness, this acceptance, and this equality if we want to see it in our future. And we have to do this together. In order to overcome the challenges of today, we need to unite and make a change. We play a key role in how society is going to turn out in the next decade. So it's up to us to decide how we want to live it. So let's live it with purpose. Thank you. Dreaming Someday you gon' be 
you gon' be somebody I say, just keep dreaming Someday you gon' be, you gon' be somebody Yeah, 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 yeah Someday you gon' be somebody One day I'm gon' be somebody Someday I'm gon' be somebody Well, another young person making a difference through her passion for music is Arshinor Ankleshwarya, who is a soprano from Sugarland. She has performed both locally and abroad, and tonight she's singing Imagine by John Lennon. Open a door, and it opens all the others. Open a mind, and see what happens next. No great thing, no beautiful invention was created in a vacuum. It happens when we leave our comfort zone and come together. Embrace faiths, cultures, disabilities, differences. 
embrace races, ages, ideologies, personalities, creating a tool or device nobody saw coming. Humanity is plural, not singular. The best way the world works is everybody in, nobody out. So who we're made of is everyone. Differences not just celebrated, but essential. Many more women in charge, equal pay for equal work everywhere. A new generation of Apple, more diverse than the one that came before. Open is not just who we are, but what we believe as a company. Because humanity isn't singular, it's plural. The truth is, we don't see things the same. The power is, we don't see things the same. When we sleep
Thank you for joining us for tonight's Empowered Voices Unity Concert. We would like to thank tonight's sponsors whose support has helped to bring this concert to you. We hope you are encouraged to love your neighbor, to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, and to be a model of unity and harmony in our community. Thank you for joining us and have a great night.